गुड आफ्टरनून मी एंड निधी द वे डील विथ कम्पेटिव्ह लिटरेचर क्रिटिकल इंट्रोडक्शन नाईन्टीन थर्टी इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट इज कम्पेरेटिव्ह लिटरेचर टुडे सुसान बेस एबस्ट्रेक्ट देर हॅव बीन अ वेरियस डेफिनेशन ऑफ द कम्पेरेटिव्ह लिटरेचर which are greatly uh, various from one scholar to the another but they all uh, agree that it is uh, one of the most modern uh, literary science uh, throughout the past two decades new critical theories such as a gender based criticism translation study deconstruction and orientalism have changed approach to literature and accordingly have had a profound impact on the work of the comparist sooner or later any anyone who claims to the working in comparative literature has to try and answer the in vitiable question what is it the simplest an- answer is that a comparative literature involves to the study of text across uh, culture that uh, in discipline uh, inter disciplinary and that uh, it is uh, uh, considered with the patterns of connection in literature across both time and uh, space and matthew arnold says uh, every there is a connection everywhere there is uh, illustrations and according to the susan basson every body who is interested uh, in book looks in the one uh, uh, one of the path to comparative literature a comparative analysis you should have already already hit the different uh, prominent writers for instance chaucer shakespeare brutilan uh, pop and uh, joyce key <coughs> argument a uh, comparative literature uh, revolves around the study of literature outside the borders of one uh, particular culture uh, that a study of a relation between literature on the one hand and other areas of human experience such as a philosophy on the other hand critics have also related it to history as to explain to the uh, converges uh, junction of the different literatures and his uh, historical aspect of uh, influence considering the comparative literature is the essence of the history of literature beyond the scope of one uh, culture or language another argument is the <clears throat> is there west student of 1960 claimed that comparative literature could be put a single boundaries of comparative literature study but she says that uh, there is uh, no virtual uh, method used for a uh, uh, climbing critics at the end of the 20th century in the age of po- uh, post modernism still uh, were uh, with <clears throat> the some question that were posed more than a country ago some critics are a question about about what is the object of the study in comparative literature how can compare uh, be the object of uh, anything if a individual literature have a canon what might a comparative canon be and how can be comparist to select what to compare is a comparative literature a disclaim or it is the simply a field of a study <coughs> uh, intro uh, introduction the what is a comparative literature today uh, is a book, a book the written by susan uh, bestnet he said that the most uh, of the people uh, most of the people do not uh, start with the comparative literature uh, but they uh, end up with Uh, with in uh, some way or other uh, generally we sta- uh, uh, generally we first start uh, reading uh, the text and then we arrive the comparison i mean to say we start uh, comparing that the text with another uh, the uh, similarity and dissimilarity compared to uh, literature emerged in uh, 19th century
<clears throat> Another say, uh, say the Matthew and Arnold uh, is the comparative literature is the different uh, from uh, national literature, general literature and the world literature. It is to the begin literature compare in uh, 1960 in uh, Germany and the comparative literature got uh, recognition uh, as a study in 1897. Matthew Arnold is uh, have a uh, in uh, lecture at the Oxford in uh, 1857, when he said that uh, everywhere there is a connection, everywhere there is an illustration, no a single event, no single literature is uh, adequately a uh, comprehensive expert in relation to the other event, uh, to the other literature. And uh, other critics, the romanticism are, are there is a uh, is a uh, weekend upon a uh, weekend uh, upon, upon the uh, uh, Bosco while uh, reading Chaucer Shakespeare uh, primary materials uh, may, uh, may be treated back to the Latin, French, uh, Spanish, and Italian. We can see how uh, uh, we can see how uh, uh, Bocasio uh, effectively for uh, Edgar Allan Poe insulin his own writing considered how many English authors uh, learned from the great Russian writer of the 19th century. Another may uh, compare uh, James Joy uh, borrowing and uh, leading to, to Italian uh, saviors. Uh, uh, Clarice uh, Lepstoker uh, reminds uh, used the uh, Jane Rush who is turned to remind us of uh, uh, Judge uh, Brands and uh, Aeneas Nen. And, and another uh, critic, his uh, uh, Goethe uh, is uh, give the terms of world literature, uh, uh, world uh, literature to comparative literature because the comparative literature removes the all borders and bring uh, nearer to all literature and spread harmony. And, uh, and another say, uh, he uh, said that the, in a question, uh, uh, a previous question, I discussed the, the great money, other question refused to go away. In this, uh, in since 1950, we have been hearing all too frequently about the Rene Wellenk defined the, compar uh, the crisis of the comparative literature. Another, the comparative literature as a term seems uh, to the strong patience both for the against as a early uh, 1930. Bentro uh, Crouches argued that the comparative literature was a non subjective, uh, com uh, non subjective, completely distinguished the suggestion that it might be the seen as a separate uh, distinct. He, he discussed the definition of comparative literature as uh, exploration. The, we, uh, we studies uh, alternation development, uh, 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 develop, developments and the uh, 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 differences and the theme of and the literary ideas across the literature. Uh, across the literature and the conclude that the, there is uh, no study more uh, right than the research of of this sort. An another is uh, he he suggests that the proper object of the sh uh, study should be the literary history, the comparative uh, uh, history of uh, of a literature. Uh, a literature is a history under understood in. Uh, in its uh, true sense as a uh, complete explanation of the literary work uh, encompassed in the all its uh, relationship uh, disposed in the uh, uh, in the com uh, uh, com uh, world of the universal literary history where else could to ever to be a blessing in the connection uh, 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 and uh, uh, preparations that are it is a uh, reason detri <coughs> and another he uh, he argument was that uh, the terms uh, term of competitive literature was uh, a few terms uh, distinguished and the, obvi uh, the obvious that uh, that is the fact uh, the fact is that the true object of his study was a literary history and another uh, another two uh, 
मैक्स कोच फाउंडर एंड द एडिटर ऑफ द टू जर्मन कंपेरेटिव जनरल्स जस्ट ट्वीट फॉर 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 वेगनियंस लिटरेचर इन 1887 एंड 1910 एंड अनदर सेकंड जनरल इज स्टडीन फॉर रिगार्डिंग कम्पेरेटिव लिटरेचर that he is uh, against uh, towards the concept of the comparative literature these uh, show various comparative literature all literature difference uh, disappear when readers take up the great works art is uh, seen as a uh, as a instrument of a universal harmony and the uh, comparist is a uh, one who uh, <coughs> faculties uh, to the sp- uh, spread of spread of that uh, harmony and the uh, another uh, other scholar he the north american charles mill wisle uh, he the comparative uh, literature uh, program in the other year uh, other year uh, as a cross attack to the working premise of the student of comparative literature was the literature as a distant and uh, integral medium of thought a common uh, institutional uh, expressions of humanity disoriented to be the sure by the social condition uh, of the individual by uh, uh, by uh, racial historical culture and linguistic influence opportunity and restrictions uh, but the uh, irrespective of the age of gives uh, promeated by the common uh, needed and the aspirations uh, aspirations of the men sprung from the uh, uh, common uh, faculties of the psycho uh, uh, psychological and uh, and uh, philosophically and beyond the common law of material and modes of the individual and the social humanities <clears throat> and the, uh, another other uh, other uh, critic he, he is the search of the methodology uh, call and uh, henis he, uh, argue that uh, the the competitive literature as uh, some kind of the world uh, world religious and the underlying suggestion is the culture and another is the instrument of the universal harmony and the comparison is one uh, Velek, uh, Velek, and uh, Warren uh, say that the theory of the literature, a book that, uh, a book that uh, immorally significant in in a comparative literature, when it first appeared in 1949, he suggests uh, that uh, comparative literature will make high uh, demand on type of linguistic uh, pro uh, uh, proficiencies uh, of our scholar. it they ask for a uh, winding uh, f- for of uh, perspectives uh, super uh, superiences of a local and uh, pro vehicle uh, sentiments not easy to achieve and another he uh, both the st- uh, state that the literature is a one as a art and u- uh, humanity uh, are on it is the idealistic vision that uh, Uh, vision that reaches uh, you uh, in the aftermath of a major international crisis <coughs> and uh, and another say the he says the the great uh, waves of the critical thought that the structuralism to to the post uh, structuralism from uh, feminism to deconstruction from seminology and uh, psychoanalysis uh, further uh, uh, further discussion i got like the nitty the way
Hello everyone, I am Nidhi Dravimai. Uh, as we know that my topic is introduction, introduction what is comparative literature today. Is a comparative li literature is a very confused word. That is ex, ex, extremely different word. That, that's reason a very critics uh, view on their uh, various thoughts. So now we discuss about the first critical Swapan Mazmudar. Swapan Mazmudar puts is it is because of this prediction for a national treasure must developed by the Anglo-American critics as a methodology that comparative literature has a struck root in the third world, third world national and India's and is particular. And also he puts that point out that Mm, Indian scholars call Western literature uh, regardless of uh, geographical uh, positions, include those literature which derive from the uh, Greece, Greco Roman um, material via Christianity and his terms English, uh, French, German, and as a subnational uh, literature. And he is uh, quite clear that we have a uh, bringing to comparative literature in his. Uh, from which he used a radically alternative perspective and a revolution of the discussions of a national uh, literature. According to those uh, in the West are thinking uh, that uh, terms of uh, great li literature also majority versus uh, minority literature. In the Indian perspective, uh, also Masmudar uh, suggests that now to discuss about the other another Another the colonial critic Homi Baba. Homi Baba sum up his uh, essay uh, about uh, that uh, colonial culture how suggested instead of uh, cross uh, uh, refreshing, there is an uh, effective uh, production uh, cross cutting across uh, side of social significance and uh, ambivalence of uh, pro post colonial. Colonial. Instead of cross referring, there is a effective, productive cross cutting across a site of social significant areas and dialectual disciplinary sense of culture reference in revelers. Also, the African critic also in the whole range there his view. Also, the another critic argued uh, that uh, Hegel, who argued that African culture was uh, weak in uh, contrast to what his uh, claim uh, were higher, more developed uh, culture and who are effectively defined by Africa as a uh, history. Uh, the now, James Need and his essay now he attack, attacking of the Hegel that uh, the how. The outstanding fact of a late 20th century European culture is, is a ongoing uh, uh, recolization with a black culture. The mystery may be that a look so long and uh, distant of element of a black culture already there in uh, Indian Latin form and the re realization that the separation between the culture and uh, was perhaps all along the one's nature but one of force. Also, uh, they say about that Africa, India, Caribbean critics have uh, also ch challenges the refu refusal of a great deal of a Western literary criticism to accept the implications of their literary uh, theory and uh, culture of policy. Also, the another uh, uh, critic, uh, Terry Eagleton, has argued uh, that uh, uh, literature in the meaning of the world we have inherited is an uh, ideology and he discussed the way in which the emerge of the English and uh, academic subject of uh, the 19th century and quite clear of uh, political implications. Also, Eagleton say about uh, the, his explanation of the rise of English and uh, they, they discuss about uh, some question like uh, literature or produce within the geographical uh, boundaries of England or uh, the United Kingdom or uh, literatures written in uh, English from all uh, uh, parts of the world and uh, where does uh, the boundary lie between the on the literature on one hand and uh, popular the mass mass culture and other hand also they say about that 19th, 19th century that how English are emerged from the uh, from the Beowulf to the Virginia Wolves. Then also,
also uh, all so they said about the work of edward said the pa- pioneer of the national of orientalism but he provided many critics with a new vocabulary said uh, the another critic said he said about their thesis that the orient the orient was a world which later acquired to in the wide field of the meanings associations and can can notations and that he, the, that this did not necessarily refer to the real orient but the field of surrounding in the world also uh, the another uh, critic uh, jehang longski they uh, say about his work the myth of the other and the next word the china in the eyes of the west he says about that the west china is the land of the past fact becoming the traditionally the image of uh, ultimate and other and uh, he say that the challenge posed by the non european critics in the colonization nation systematic process of uh, inventing other cultures has put that ideology family back on the agenda by uh, literary studies then he say about the growth of the national uh, national english the growth of the national consciousness and the awareness the, of the need of the move beyond of the colonial legacy and he led off significantly and the development of a contemporary literature is the many part of the world uh, world even the subject enter at the period of the critics in uh, legacy in the west they uh, why which play the comparative literature was immersed to that uh, china brazil india or many african nation uh, now they talks about uh, another uh, another author that ganesh devis argumented comparative literature in india coincidence with the rise of a modern indian nationalism is uh, important because he uh, so to the remind us to the origin of the term comparative literature in uh, europe a term that the first appearance in the age of a national struggle when the new boundaries were begin uh, emerged in the world questions of the national culture and the national identity was under discussion throughout the europe and the united states also he says about that comparatively that it is a begun and development development outside like a europe and united states is a breaking a new ground and there is a great deal to be a learned from following in this development also development also what is the what is this but the comparative literature but the un, under another name now the, uh, he say about that uh, how uh, comparative literature are emerged and uh, called a new name that is the what is a translation study is a contribution to a comparative literature in the comparative uh, translation study is uh, emerged uh, in the ni- uh, 19 early emerged in mid 1917 the what is discussion the translation studies from the uh, translation as uh, traditionally throughout uh, is a uh, derivation from uh, psychology theory and development uh, by the uh, even johar and the later uh, giordan tori and tel evi the comparative literature has uh, traditionally claimed translation is a sub category but this assumptions is now being questioned the work of a scholar sus h tori uh, letrans hermans lambert and many others shows that uh, translation is uh, especially significant as uh, a moment of uh, that uh, great cultural change the other that even and johar argues that uh, extensive translations activity takes place when a cultural is a, a period of a uh, translation when it is expanding when it needs uh, renewal when it is a pre revolutionary phase then the translations play a vital part in the constructs when a culture is solidly established when it is in a imperialization stage when it is believed 
believe itself in dominant then translation is a less important then he last to conclude part he said that english become the language of international diplomacy in the 20th century and also there was a little need of a translation his relative poverty of a 20th century translations into a english compared with the professional of a translation in many other languages and the competitive literature has always claimed that translation is a sub category but as a translation studies establishes itself humbly as a subject based in a intercultural studies and offering of a methodology in a some regular both in the uh, top of a theological and disciplinary work so comparative literature is appearance less like a discipline and more like a branch of the something else